He was the Michael Jordan of weightlifting. And that would make him among the youngest world competitors. I'm CJ Cummins. I'm 16 years old, and I am an Olympic weightlifter. So now you got 70 kilos, which is 154 pounds. Ideally, you'd be a little bit further back on the ball. Walk back a little bit. There you go, straight line. He basically was just a typical kid, but I would say that I saw it within the first six months of him training when he was 11 years old, and he ended up doing double his body weight for a clean and jerk. Next walk. There you go. I weighed like about 90 pounds, and I, I lifted double that, so 180 pounds over my head, which nobody has done in like the history of USA, so I was like the first person to do that. Victory! Right, right. They posted on YouTube and people was like, oh, hey, you're the kid that did like double body weight. And like, I felt like it was kind of cool because like people were like, I didn't know knew me. I just started to realize it was like a big accomplishment. For him toward, you know, him peaking and, and doing the best he can, the ultimate goal is, is to try to make, you know, the 2020 Olympics. Let's do this. Let's do a, let's just make it, let's make it color coordinated. Let's go red, blue, green. Yes, yes, quit making that face. 110 kilos, 242 pounds. I would have never thought when I was like five or six years old, like me going to the Olympics, but just to go out there and represent my country would mean like a lot. I mean, the whole town, they keep it with me because they like, every time I go to a competition, they put it in the newspaper, how I did and everything like that. talking about a 16 year old that is doing right at 400 pounds over his head. No American has like broken it like a U4 record. So like once that happened, the spotlight just started coming on. This is my room. Got my bed, got the TV right here. Got a little couch. I got like some of my local, this is all my medals that was in the United States. I get Christmas like every other month. Got boxes that I don't know nothing about. This is more close. Like I need it. Now, I never had nobody send me 10 boxes of clothes. See? More shirts. USA Weightlifting sent you something today. Did it? Yes, that's a net um, bottom. Big envelope. Oh, wow. Let me see. It's like an award. They send you an award? A plaque. Open it up and see what it says. Yeah, give me some gold plate. What does it uh, say? I was the best lifter. I wasn't aware, but they sent me this. In Grand Rapids? Yeah. That's not gold. Silver. <laughs> Uh, it says 2017 USA with an American Open Series 3, best the third male. Oh. Wow. Yeah. We're running out of space. I've never had an athlete that competed in the Olympics. Everyone says that he has just this unbelievable talent. It's not just that, it's his also his work ethic. He sacrificed a lot of things to do what he's doing to get where he's at. I feel like I've done all like all these accomplishments, but there's like 
a lot more that I can improve on to like make myself better and to like reach the, like, the top level. But my goal is just like go to the Olympics, of course, and like get a gold medal, just to take it as far as I can. I'm brain dead right now. Brain dead? Wow, well, okay, I was 170. 170? 140 plus 30 is 170. So this is right? Plus oh. a 10 on each side, 80, 90. Okay. Isn't it? Yeah. What is that? I'm adding up wrong. I'm brain dead right now. Like, hey, hey, you did the right thing. You questioned it. Good. I'm going to tell you right now, if you're done the one night, you, you're not going backwards. You're going up from there. 